Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with TypeScript and HTML application inside the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So, TypeScript is a programming language developed and maintained by Microsoft. It is a strict syntactical superset of JavaScript and adds optional static typing to the language. TypeScript is designed for the development of large application and transcompiles to JavaScript. As a TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, existing JavaScript programs are also valid TypeScript programs. Okay, so HTML. I mean, if you're here, then I suppose or guess you already know about HTML, but for those of you that don't, Hypertest Markup Language, HTML, is a standard markup language for documents designed to be displayed in a web browser. It can be easily, or it can be assisted by technologies such as cascading style sheets, CSS, and scripting languages like JavaScript or TypeScript, which we're actually going to look at in this video. So, so let's get to it then. We, as you can see here, I've got Visual Studio 2019, the community version opened, right? And as you can see, I've got a blank Visual Studio with no project opened. The first bit, what we do is we come inside the extensions, we click on the manage extensions, right? So we make sure we've got the extension bit on the left hand side is online. If that's the case, then what we do is we type in TypeScript HTML. So as you can see, the first result is TypeScript, TypeScript HTML application template. So this provides a project template for an HTML application with TypeScript. This is the same template as is natively in Visual Studio 2015. So we can get started by actually clicking on the download. So we're going to download and here before we can actually install, we're gonna have to close the extension manager and close the Visual Studio. So once we close the Visual Studio, we, we see the VSIS installer. So here we can click on modify. So what, what I'm gonna do is just gonna pause the video while the installation is being completed. So now we've got an installation completed, so I can click on the close, then we open the Visual Studio again. So we're just gonna click on the continue without code. So I'm just gonna open the startup window again, click on the create. So once you actually install it, so as you can see, we've got TypeScript, it's new here, we've got it installed now. And on top of the list, once we select the type, TypeScript as the language, on top of the result bit here, yeah, we've got HTML application with TypeScript. So we click on this here, then we click on next. Just like usual here, you can actually configure your project details, but we're not gonna look into that. So we're just gonna click on the create. So now, as you can see, yeah, we've got the project created now. So uh, if we look here on the, on the Solution Explorer, we've, what we've got is just a simple file. We've got the web.config, uh, we've got the index.html, and then if you look at it, we've got app.ts and app.css. So the app.ts contains our TypeScript, yeah? So once you open it for the first time, you get this pop-up, like this update pop-up. So this specifies the type, TypeScript version 2.1, but obviously it's saying that our project 
specifies a TypeScript version 2.1, but a matching compiler was not found. So would you like to use the update? Would you like to update your project to use the TypeScript 4.0? So we're just gonna click yes. So we should get that saved. Yeah. So when, once that bit is sorted out, yeah. So if we look here, we've got a very simple, I think, timer that is, that will actually display the current time. Yeah. So we've got this simple method, start, and then this one stop so this actually starts the timer all the time and this actually stops it right so basically we have the html as well so if we look at it here it's a very simple html so if we look at the the head of the html we've got this script source which actually is app.js right so basically on a TypeScript, yeah, the compile time is all is mostly .js link. So you got to bear that one in mind as well. So the app.ts becomes the app.js. And we've got the usual style. So if we look at it here, we've got a, the div with the ID content. So we come inside the, the app.ts. So we've got one that actually takes the elements So as you can see, once we scroll down here, we've got this Windows to unload for the Windows unload method. Yeah, so here we've got this referencing the EL elements. This is the ID, the contents that I actually showed you. So, and this is the, the, the greeter, which takes in an HTML element. So if we look at it here, so we've got the, the constructor, which takes in an HTML elements, right? So this is where this is inside this element is where we pass the time detail. So once we run it here, so we get this bit when we run it. So we've we've actually got the start method being called at every second interval. So we look at it here. So um, we've got this. So yeah, we set we set up this the the, the set of intervals, and this is where we actually the, the time the time is actually put inside the, the the content ID elements. Yeah, so as you can see, it's not it's not really difficult. So I, I'm really not gonna like take you further than this. So I hope yeah, from here you can actually get started with it and start building on and start doing whatever you want to do so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of lots of videos coming up so good morning afternoon evening wherever you are peace